Hello the viewers, here is SIGBIKER. When purchasing the new disc rotor to our bikes, we need to consider mainly two factors. The disc rotor diameter and the assembly system to the hubs that we already have on our bikes. The disc brake rotor diameter used for road bikes and recreational mountain bikes would be 140mm up to 160mm and disc brake rotor used for more aggressive MTB riding would be 180mm up to 203mm. It is also good to know that many bikes will come with larger uh, disc brake rotor in the front than in the rear. So before buying a new rotors for your bikes, you should check the diameter of your disc brakes. In this case, 203, so 203 millimeters. And the second thing is the assembly system. Uh, on the Shimano products, uh, this logo with center lock will indicate a Shimano patented assembly called center lock. And here, also on the Shimano uh, box, we can see other logo with six digits uh, just in the center, and that means the so-called six bolt system or IS2000, and that will mean different assembly of our disc rotor to the bike. Just as you could imagine, the six bolt system will be recognized on our bike by those bolts assembling the disc rotor to the hub. The other two bolts are just hidden uh, behind the stays here. And it's good to know that for both disassembling and assembling the disc rotor, we're gonna need the Torx T25 uh, bead. Uh, and it's really good idea to use a torque wrench for tightening those bolts. The center lock system is also very easy to recognize on our bike. We don't see any bolts here, but just one central nut. That means center lock. In this case, uh, when we have the through axle on the bike, we're gonna use the bottom bracket tool for both removal and assembly of our rotor. It's good to know that we need the one which is hollow inside without any pins, because this one would not fit. This is also the center lock system, but in this case we have a standard quick release in the rear. That means we're gonna use a cassette tool for both removal and assembly of our disc rotor.